Alaraka Rahman, pronunciation, born A. S. Dileep Kumar, known professionally as A. R. Rahman, is an Indian music director, composer, singer songwriter, and music producer. A. R. Rahman's works are noted for integrating Indian classical music with electronic music, world music, and traditional orchestral arrangements. Among his awards are six National Film Awards, two Academy Awards, two Grammy Awards, a BAFTA Award, a Golden Globe Award, 15 Filmfare Awards and 17 Filmfare Awards South. He has been awarded the Padma Bhushan, the third highest civilian award, in 2010 by the Government of India. In 2009, Rahman was included on the Time 100 list of the world's most influential people. The UK-based world music magazine Songlines named him one of Tomorrow's World Music Icons. In August 2011, South Indian fans of Rahman refer him with the nickname of the Mozart of Madras and Ize Puyal. English, the musical storm, with an in house studio Panchathan Record Inn in Chennai. Rahman's film scoring career began during the early 1990s with the Tamil film Roha. Working in India's film industries, international cinema, and theatre, Rahman is one of the best selling recording artists. Rahman has also become a notable humanitarian and philanthropist, donating and raising money for a number of causes and charities. In 2017, Rahman made his debut as a director and writer for the film La Musk. <laughs> Early life Rahman was born in Madras, India. His father, R. K. Shakar, was a film score composer and conductor for Tamil and Malayalam films. Rahman assisted his father in the studio, playing the keyboard. After his father's death when Rahman was nine years old, the rental of his father's musical equipment provided his family's income. Raised by his mother, Karima, born Kashtori, Rahman, who was studying in Padma Sashadri Bala Bhavan, had to work to support his family, which led to him to routinely miss classes and fail exams. The principal, Mrs. YGP, summoned Rahman and his mother and told them the boy should be focusing on his academics and not working irrespective of his family circumstances. Rahman joins another school called MCN for a year. He later joins Madras Christian College Higher Secondary School where he got admission on his music talent through he likes the school environment which encouraged music, he joins a band with his school classmates like Jim Satya. But due to his work schedule it came to point when he has to decide whether to continue to study or be a full-time musician after a discussion with his mother he decides to quit studies. Rahman was a keyboard player and arranger for bands such as Roots with childhood friend and percussionist Sivamani, John Anthony, Suresh Peters, Jojo and Raja and founded the Chennai-based rock group Nemesis Avenue. He mastered the keyboard, piano, synthesizer, harmonium and guitar, and was particularly interested in the synthesizer because it was the ideal combination of music and technology. Rahman began his early musical training under Master Dhanraj, and at age 11 began playing in the orchestra of Malayalam composer and close friend of his father M. K. Arjunan. He soon began working with other composers, such as M. S. Viswanathan, Ilayaraja, Ramesh Naidu and Raj Koti, accompanied Zakir Hussain, Kunakudi Vaidyanathan and L. Shankar on world tours and obtained a scholarship from Trinity College London to the Trinity College of Music, studying in Madras. Rahman graduated with a diploma in Western classical music from the school. Rahman was introduced to Kadiri Tarika when his younger sister was seriously ill in 1984. His mother was a practicing Hindu. At the age of 23, he converted to Islam with other members of his family in 1989, changing his name to Alaraka Rahman A. R. Rahman. Topic: Career. Topic: Soundtracks. Rahman initially composed scores for documentaries and jingles for advertisements and Indian television channels. In 1987 Rahman, then still known as Dileep, composed jingles for a line of watches introduced by Alwyn. He also arranged the jingles for some advertisements that went on to become very popular, including the popular jingle for Titan Watches, in which he used the theme from Mozart's Symphony No. 25. In 1992, he was approached by director Mani Ratnam to compose the score and soundtrack for his Tamil film, Roha. Rahman's film career began in 1992 when he started Panchathan Record Inn, a recording and mixing studio in his backyard. 
It would become the most advanced recording studio in India, and arguably one of Asia's most sophisticated and high-tech studios. Cinematographer Santosh Savan signed Rahman for his second film Yoda, a Malayalam film starring Mohanlal and directed by Savan's brother Sanjeet Savan that released in September 1992. The following year, Rahman received the Rajat Kamal Silver Lotus Award for Best Music Director at the National Film Awards for Roja. The film's score was critically and commercially successful in its original and dubbed versions, led by the innovative theme, Chinna Chinna Aasai. Rahman followed this with successful scores and songs for Tamil language films for the Chennai film industry, including Ratnam's politically charged Bombay, the Urban Catalan, Theruta Theruta, and S. Shankar's debut film Gentleman with its popular dance song, Chiku Baku Rayail. Rahman collaborated with director Bharatharaja on Kijaku Chimayail and Karuthama, producing successful Tamil rural folk inspired film songs. He also composed for K. Balachander's duet, which had some memorable saxophone themes. The 1995 film Indira and romantic comedies Mr. Romeo and Love Birds also drew attention. Rahman attracted a Japanese audience with Mutu's success there. His soundtracks are known in the Tamil Nadu film industry and abroad for his versatility in combining Western classical music, Carnatic and Tamil traditional and folk music traditions, jazz, reggae and rock music. The soundtrack for Bombay sold 15 million copies worldwide, and Bombay theme would later reappear in his soundtrack for Deepa Mehta's Fire and a number of compilations and other media. It was featured in the 2002 Palestinian film Divine Intervention and the 2005 Nicolas Cage film, Lord of War. Rangila, directed by Ram Gopal Varma, was Rahman's Bollywood debut. Successful scores and songs for Dil Se, and the percussive tall followed. Sufi mysticism inspired, Chaya Chaya, from the former film and, Zikr. From his soundtrack album for Nataji Subhas Chandra Bose, The Forgotten Hero, which featured elaborate orchestral and choral arrangements, Rahman's soundtrack album for the Chennai production Minsara Kanavu won him his second National Film Award for Best Music Direction and a South Filmfare Award for Best Music Direction in a Tamil film in 1997, the latter setting a record of six consecutive wins. He later went on to win the award three consecutive additional times. The musical cues in the soundtrack albums for Sangamam and Iravar used Carnatic vocals, the veena, rock guitar and jazz. During the 2000s, Rahman composed scores and popular songs for Rajiv Menon's Kandukandane Kandukandane, Alipayuthi, Ashutosh Gowarikar's Swades, Rang de Basanti and songs with Hindustani motifs for 2005's Water. Rahman has worked with Indian poets and lyricists such as Javed Akhtar, Gulzar, Vairamuthu and Vali, and has produced commercially successful soundtracks with directors Mani Ratnam and S. Shankar, Gentleman, Katalan, Indian, Jeans, Mudhalvan, Nayak, Boys, Savaji and Enthiran. In 2005 Rahman expanded his Panchathan record in studio by establishing AM Studios in Kotabakam, Chennai, creating the most cutting-edge studio in Asia. The following year he launched his own music label, KM Music, with his score for Silunu Oru Kadal. Rahman scored the Mandarin language film Warriors of Heaven and Earth in 2003 after researching and using Chinese and Japanese classical music, and won the Just Plain Folks Music Award for Best Music Album for his score for 2006's Verilaru Godfather. He co-scored Shakar Kapur's second British film, Elizabeth, The Golden Age, in 2007 and received a Best Composer Asian Film Award nomination at the Hong Kong International Film Festival for his Jada Akbar score. Rahman's music has been sampled for other scores in India, appearing in Inside Man, Lord of War, Divine Intervention and The Accidental Husband. His score for his first Hollywood film, the 2009 comedy Couples Retreat, won the BMI London Award for Best Score. Rahman's music for 2008's Slumdog Millionaire won a Golden Globe and two Academy Awards a first for an Asian, and the songs Jai Ho and O oh Saya from its soundtrack were internationally successful. His music on 2008's Bollywood John II Ya John Na was popular with Indian youth. That year, his score and songs for Jada Akbar won critical acclaim, a Best Composer Asian Film Award nomination, and IIFA Awards for Best Music Direction and Score. 
In 2010, Rahman composed the original score and songs for the romantic Vinayathandi Varavaya, the sci-fi romance Enthiran and Danny Boyle's 127 Hours, composing for the Imtiaz Ali musical Rockstar. The latter's soundtrack was a critical and commercial success. In 2012 Rahman composed for EKK Diwanada and the American drama People Like Us, and collaborated with director Yash Chopra on Jab Tak Hai Yan, all were positively received. By the end of the year his music for Mani Ratnam's Kadal was critically acclaimed, and the album topped the iTunes India chart for December. In 2013, Rahman had two releases, Ranjana and Marianne. Both were successful, with the former nominated for a number of awards and the latter the iTunes India Tamil album of 2013. The year 2014 was one of the busiest years for Rahman, with him claiming to have worked in 12 films in various languages. While his first release for the year was the Imtiaz Ali's Road Movie Highway which garnered positive reviews, his very next release was the performance-captured animation film Kachadayan, a Rajinikanth starer directed by Soundarya Rajinikanth. The film's score and soundtrack garnered huge critical appraise with its score being long listed at the forthcoming Academy Awards. His next were the scores for the two back-to-back -back Hollywood films, Million Dollar Arm and The Hundred Foot Journey, both of which got into the contended list for the original score category nomination at the Oscars. This was followed by the highly successful soundtrack album for the period drama Kavya Thalavan teaming up with director Vasanthabalan for the first time. His next release was Shankar's supernatural thriller I and K. S. Ravikumar's period action film Linga, both of which were highly acclaimed and appreciated upon release. Topic background scores Apart from successful soundtracks, he has also received acclaim for his background scores and is considered one of the finest background score composers in India. His background scores are often characterized by the usage of subtle orchestration and ambient sounds. Trained in Western classical music, he often employs contemporary instruments such as guitars, cello, flute, strings, keyboard, fingerboard, harpeggi, santor and traditional Indian instruments such as shanae, sitar, marudangam, vinai and tabla to create scores. Apart from getting favorable reviews, several of Rahman's background scores have earned him many prestigious awards ranging from Academy Awards to Filmfare Awards. Some of the films which fetched him appreciations for background scores include Roha, Bombay, Iravar, Minsara Kanavu, Dil Se, Tal, Lagan, The Legend of Bhagat Singh, Swades, Rang de Basanti, Bose, The Forgotten Hero, Guru, Jada Akbar, Ravanan, Vinayathandi Varavaya, Rockstar, Enthiran, Kadal, Kachadayan, and I. Among his Hollywood scores, Warriors of Heaven and Earth, Slumdog Millionaire, 127 Hours, Million Dollar Arm, and The Hundred Foot Journey received rave reviews reviews. A. R. Rahman received two Academy Awards for Slumdog Millionaire and two Academy Award nominations for 127 Hours. Recently, his scores for Kachadayan, Million Dollar Arm and The Hundred Foot Journey have been nominated in the long list released by Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences. In 2017 his Mersal film music's background score has impressed one and all. Topic. Performing and other projects Rahman has also been involved in non-film projects. Van Mataram, an album of original compositions released for India's 50th anniversary of its independence in 1997, is one of India's best-selling non-film albums. He followed it with an album for the Bharat Bala-directed video Jana Gana Mana, a collection of performances by leading exponents and artists of Indian classical music. Rahman has written advertising jingles and orchestrations for athletic events, television and internet media, documentaries and short films, frequently using the Czech Film Orchestra and the Chennai Strings Orchestra. In 1999, Rahman partnered with choreographers Shobana and Prabhu Deva and a Tamil film dancing troupe to perform with Michael Jackson in Munich, Germany at his Michael Jackson and Friends concert. In 2002 he composed the music for his first stage production, Bombay Dreams, which was commissioned by Andrew Lloyd Webber. The Finnish folk music band Vardina collaborated with Rahman on the Toronto production of The Lord of the Rings, and in 2004 he composed, Raga's Dance, for Vanessa May's album choreography performed by May and the Royal Philharmonic Orchestra. 
Since 2004 Rahman has performed three successful world tours before audiences in Singapore, Australia, Malaysia, Dubai, the United Kingdom, Canada, the United States and India, and has been collaborating with Karen David on her upcoming studio album. A two-disc CD, Introducing A. R. Rahman featuring 25 of his Tamil film score pieces, was released in May 2006 and his non-film album Connections was released on 12 December 2008. Rahman performed at a White House state dinner arranged by U.S. President Barack Obama during an official visit by Indian Prime Minister Manmohan Singh on 24 November 2009. He is one of over 70 artists on We Are the World 25 for Haiti, a charity single to raise relief funds in the wake of the 2010 Haiti earthquake. In 2010, Rahman composed J.J. Garvey Gujarat in honor of the 50th anniversary of the formation of Gujarat State. Semojiana Thamiz Maziyam, as part of the World Classical Tamil Conference 2010, and the theme song for the 2010 Commonwealth Games, Gio Utho Bado Jito. Rahman began his first world tour, A. R. Rahman Jai Ho Concert, the Journey Home World Tour, on the 11th of June 2010 at Nassau Coliseum in New York. Sixteen cities worldwide were scheduled. Some of Rahman's notable compositions were performed by the London Philharmonic Orchestra in April 2010. In February 2011, Rahman collaborated with Michael Bolton on Bolton's album Gems, the duet's collection, reworking his Sajna. From Couples Retreat, on 20 May 2011 Mick Jagger announced the formation of a supergroup, Super Heavy, with Dave Stewart, Joss Stone, Damian Marley and Rahman. Its self-titled album was scheduled for release in September 2011. The album would have Jagger singing on Rahman's composition, Satyameva Jayate, The Truth Alone Triumphs. In January 2012 the Deutsches Filmorchester Babelsberg announced that it would join KM Music Conservatory musicians for a 100-member concert tour of five Indian cities Germany and India 2011-2012, Infinite Opportunities, performing Rahman's songs. The mark the centennial of Indian cinema and Babelsberg Studio, the world's oldest film studio. In summer 2012, Rahman composed a Punjabi song for the London Olympics opening ceremony, directed by Danny Boyle, part of a medley showcasing Indian influence in the UK. Indian musician Ilayaraj's song from the 1981 Tamil language film Ram Lakshman was also chosen for the medley. In December 2012 Rahman and Shikhar Kapoor launched Kayuki, a networking site which is a platform for story writers to exchange their thoughts. Cisco invested 270 million rupees in the startup, giving it a 17% share. Kayuki uses Cisco's cloud infrastructure for the site. On 20 December he released the single Infinite Love in English and Hindi, commemorating the last day of the Mayan calendar to spread hope, peace and love. Rahman's 2013 tour, Ramanishkyu, was announced on 29 July 2013 in Mumbai. Beginning in Sydney on 24 August, the tour moved to a number of cities in India. In January 2016, after a long break A. R. Rahman performed live in Chennai and for the first time in Coimbatore and Madurai, with a complete Tamil playlist. As the name suggests, Nenje Yezu which means Rise Up, began 2016 with a positive note and with music from the heart. The proceeds of this concert will be used for flood relief in Tamil Nadu and also for creating awareness against cancer, supporting VS Medical Trust outside Chennai. He was interviewed by Arnab Goswami of Republic TV on the 9th of September 2017 for his outstanding achievements. On the 15th of August 2018, AR Rahman will appear as the host in the five-episode series of Amazon Prime Video titled Harmony, arrived as India's first YouTube original that aims to look for the best singing talent from across country. The series has 13 episodes and the first episode was uploaded on November 7. On Arrived, R. Rahman is the main judge and he is accompanied by San singer, Vidya Vox and Clinton Clinton Sariho. 1. Topic. Musical style and impact Skilled in Carnatic music, Western and Hindustani classical music and the Qawwali style of Nusrat Fateh Ali Khan, Rahman is noted for film songs amalgamating elements of these and other genres, layering instruments from different musical idioms in an improvisational style. During the 1980s Rahman recorded manoral arrangements in common with his musical predecessors, K. V. Mahadevan and Vishwanathan Ramamurthy. 
In later years his methodology changed, as he experimented with the fusion of traditional instruments with new electronic sounds and technology. Rahman's musical interests and outlook originate in his love of experimentation. His compositions have an otoristic use of counterpoint, orchestration and the human voice, melding Indian pop music with a unique timbre, form and instrumentation. With this syncretic style and wide-ranging lyrics, the appeal of Rahman's music crosses classes and cultures in Indian society. His first soundtrack, for Roha, was listed on Time's all-time, 10 Best Soundtracks, in 2005. Film critic Richard Corliss said that the composer's astonishing debut work parades Rahman's gift for alchemizing outside influences until they are totally Tamil, totally Rahman and his initial global success is attributed to the South Asian diaspora. Music producer Ron Fair considers Rahman, "...one of the world's great living composers in any medium." Director Baz Luhrmann said, I had come to the music of A. R. Rahman through the emotional and haunting score of Bombay and the wit and celebration of Lagan. But the more of R's music I encountered the more I was to be amazed at the sheer diversity of styles, from swinging brass bands to triumphant anthems, from joyous pop to West End musicals. Whatever the style, A. R. Rahman's music always possesses a profound sense of humanity and spirit, qualities that inspire me the most. Rahman introduced 7.1 surround sound technology to South Indian films. On the 21st of May 2014, Rahman announced that he has partnered with former black-eyed Peaswell.i.am to recreate an early popular track Urvashi Urvashi. Track is Birthday. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Personal life. Rahman is married to Sarah Banu not to be confused with actress Sarah Banu and has three children, Katia, Rahima and Amin. Amin has sung, Nana, from Couples Retreat, and Katia has sung, Pudia Manita, from Enthiran. Rahman is the uncle of composer G. V. Prakash Kumar, the son of his elder sister A. R. Rehana. Rahman's younger sister, Fatima, heads his music conservatory in Chennai. The youngest, Ishrath, has a music studio. A. R. Rahman is the co brother of film actor Rahman, born Hindu. Rahman converted to Islam when he was in his 20s. After the early death of his father, his family experienced difficult times. Sufism influenced his mother, who was a practicing Hindu, and, eventually, his family. During the 81st Academy Awards ceremony, Rahman paid tribute to his mother. There is a Hindi dialogue, Mir Pas Mahai, which means, Even if I have got nothing, I have my mother here. He said, Ella Pughaja Maravanuk. All praise to God. In Tamil, a translation from the Quran before his speech. Philanthropy Rahman is involved with a number of charitable causes. In 2004, he was appointed as the global ambassador of the Stop TB Partnership, a WHO project. Rahman has supported Save the Children India and worked with Yusuf Islam on Indian Ocean, a song featuring AHA keyboard player Magna Faruholman and Travis drummer Neil Primrose. Proceeds from the song went to help orphans in Banda Aceh who were affected by the 2004 Indian Ocean tsunami. He produced the single, We Can Make It Better, by Don Asian with Mukhtar Sahota. In 2008 Rahman opened the KM Music Conservatory with an audio media education facility to train aspiring musicians in vocals, instruments, music technology and sound design. The conservatory with prominent musicians on staff and a symphony orchestra is located near his studio in Kotabakam, Chennai and offers courses at several levels. Violinist El Sebramaniam is on its advisory board. Several of Rahman's protégés from the studio have scored feature films. He composed the theme music for a 2006 short film for the Banyan to aid poor women in Chennai. In 2008, Rahman and noted percussionist Sivamani created a song, Gia Se Gia, inspired by the Free Hugs campaign and promoted it with a video filmed in a number of Indian cities for a cause. Discography <laughs> 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 The following table lists A. R. Rahman's known soundtrack album sales in India, including Tamil and Bollywood music albums. <laughs> <laughs> Awards 
A six-time National Film Award winner and recipient of six Tamil Nadu State Film Awards, he has 15 Filmfare Awards and 16 Filmfare Awards South for his music. Rahman has received a Kalimamani from the Government of Tamil Nadu for Excellence in the Field of Music, Musical Achievement Awards from the Governments of Uttar Pradesh and Madhya Pradesh, and a Padma Shri from the Government of India. In 2006, he received an award from Stanford University for his contributions to global music. The following year, Rahman entered the Limca Book of Records as Indian of the Year for Contribution to Popular Music. He received the 2008 Lifetime Achievement Award from the Rotary Club of Madras. In 2009, for his Slumdog Millionaire score, Rahman won the Broadcast Film Critics Association Award, the Golden Globe Award for Best Original Score, the BAFTA Award for Best Film Music and two Academy Awards Best Original Score and Best Original Song, the latter shared with Gulzar at the 81st Academy Awards. He has received honorary doctorates from Middlesex University, Aligarh Muslim University, Anna University in Chennai and Miami University in Ohio. The composer has won two Grammy Awards, Best Compilation Soundtrack Album and Best Song Written for Visual Media. Rahman received the Padma Bhushan, India's third highest civilian honor. In 2010, his work in 127 Hours won him Golden Globe, BAFTA, and two Academy Award nominations Best Original Music Score and Best Original Song in 2011. Rahman is an honorary fellow of the Trinity College of Music. On 24 October 2014, Rahman was awarded an honorary doctorate from Berklee College of Music during a concert paying tribute to his music featuring an international cast of students. Upon receiving his award he commented that being honored by Berkeley illustrates how his life has come full circle, as at the start of his career, he had planned to study at Berkeley before being offered the opportunity to score Roja. During his 7 May 2012 acceptance speech of his honorary doctorate from Miami University in Ohio, Rahman mentioned that he received a Christmas card from the family of the President of the United States and an invitation to dinner at the White House. A street was named in his honor in Markham, Ontario, Canada in November 2013. On the 4th of October 2015, the government of Seychelles named AR Rahman cultural ambassador for Seychelles in appreciation of the invaluable services contributed to enhance Seychelles arts and culture development. Topic: See also AR Rahman portal a. R. Rahman, Wikipedia book R. Rahman Foundation List of films directed by Mani Ratnam featuring A. R. Rahman <laughs>